You're watching Roots TV Nigeria. And in this conversation, we are looking at the leadership tussle going up in the Senate and the House of Representatives. So who's going to be the president of the Senate and the speaker for the House of Representatives? So many options are on the table. APC is in charge in both houses. But it seems they cannot have one voice when it comes to picking the persons who will be in charge of both houses. What are the issues coming up in the choice of who becomes uh, a speaker of the House of Reps and the president of the Senate? And even the deputy. The deputies are also heavily contested. Where would it go? We're hearing of zoning. Where will they go? These conversations we're having right here on Roots TV and on the show, we have starting from my very close right, Ali Abdullahi. He is a public affairs analyst as well as a legal practitioner. Welcome. Thank you for having me, Gloria. All right. We have Anthony Doko, a legal practitioner and a public affairs analyst as well. A pleasure. And we have the very vocal Dr. Tony Akabodo. It is good to have you here on the show. Thanks for having me. Okay, so I'm going to start with you, uh, um, Ali. I mean, you would assume that APC having majority in the Senate and the House of Representatives, it should be very easy for them to decide who's going to be uh, the Speaker of the House of the Reps and President of the Senate. Why is there such wrangling going on at the moment? Well, actually, it's not that easy because that's the beauty of democracy, you know, divergent opinions. So we don't, have, we don't all have to agree on our choices, you know, when it comes to picking our leaders because uh, although, you know, they, are, they belong to the same party because they are the majority in both houses, doesn't mean they see eye to eye on everything and that includes picking the leadership of those houses. Mm -hmm. And secondly, it's about ambition, you know, People have ambitions that feels rightly they deserve to be there. Yeah, and the, the third issue is about people feeling, for example, I come from this, a certain ge geographical, geopolitical zone mm -hmm. that I feel that my people are or ought to be recognized or, or represented at the highest level of, uh, of, of decision making in, in, in the country, especially in the parliament, parliamentary house, house. So that also comes to play. Then some people feel rightly by experience, numbers of years mm -hmm. that I have spent in that parliamentary, that I'm, bit, I'm the better one for the job. Then, of course, the leadership of the party itself, you know, they have an input. They kind of uh, 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 anoint some people, you know, you may call it, was it a democratic way of doing it or not, but nevertheless, they actually show or actually try to have their ways, you know, influence the decision making of these members. And don't forget the constitutional requirement of picking, of choosing the leadership of this house actually solely rests um, on those members, exactly. you know, that were elected, not on the party, not on the people, you know, we have done our own duty, we have voted them into offices, but they should among themselves choose their leaders. That's what the law says. But that doesn't stop the party because they didn't run independently. They run under a platform of party. So the party should have a say. They should give a direction, not to detect who should be the leader, in my own right. uh, opinion. Okay. But there is something that they call, or we call, party supremacy also. That when the party gives a direction, members are expected to go by it, abide by it. Parties are deciding what happens in the Senate, in the House of Representatives, which is awkward because you would assume what would determine how they choose their leadership, like he said, are just them deciding who it should be. So what are your thoughts on this party influencing the leadership in the House of Representatives and the Senate? Um, I agree with him, but I, I, you see, all those things about uh, wanting your people, I want to represent my people, and all of that, I don't agree. Do you have to be Senate President to represent your people at the Senate? You don't have to. It's about personal interest. Hmm. It's personal interest. There's so much at stake. When you're the Senate President here, you're number three. You control a lot of funds. The budget of the National Assembly is close to 200, million, 200 billion. Hmm. You know, at the Senate President, is the chairman of the National Assembly. He disburses it. He 
you, so at the they, end of the they, day, this is really all about money. It's about it's about contract. Control of money. It's about yes, that's what control it is. of money. Yeah, at because the end once, of the you day. Become, once you become a senate president, a senator who is just moving with just his car and the policeman, you become senate president. You have about three or three three riders or so following you, you know, and um, you have almost twenty cars, you know, attached to you, and also there's it's so much power. It has and it has to do with all that we have, you know, and, and all of that. So that's the reason for, for what's happening. It's, I not, mean, it's not about national. Uh, oh, okay, Akabuna, so. let's talk about this. Uh, the the outgoing Senate President Bukola Sarakia said, you know, really let the senators pick their president, and really should it be restricted only to the APC? Shouldn't the PDP as well, you know, contest? for uh, the, the Senate presence. I mean, this is going to be an election anyways, open uh, uh, election. Why shouldn't the PDP uh, uh, also contest? Are you, <laughs> you obviously affiliate with the PDP. Do you agree with that? And if so, who are the people you think the PDP should be flaunting for uh, uh, the leadership of the Senate? Okay, well, I'll not, um, I won't win the dress on this. I'll just shoot straight. Please. Um, the, my, my, my co-panelists here, they are lawyers. Um, section 50 of the Constitution is very, is unambiguous on who um, votes the leadership of the Senate. It's internal, mm. shouldn't be external. And that's an arm of government, uh, it's just an arm of government. So if um, the leadership of APC, if they are students of history, they won't dominate what they are doing, they're not students of history. And I can say with due respect to them, they are not good strategists mm. because they have blown it like they did in the 8th Assembly, they have blown it, you understand, they have. If they are students of history, they would have just, just 8th Assembly, they failed in their strategy, because they're not students of um, strategy. You know, why do you want to impose? Already, the election is going to be on the 9th of June. Mm. This is April. They started um, making a lot of noise in March. It's going, after this, the it's going to be this, it's going to be that. Internally, even if they have the number, you don't, you don't trivialize a party, the opposition party has over, over 40. 40 is a huge number, mm. because now there are about three prominent senators that have indicated interest. Lawan is a, is a candidate of the party, Lawan, of right? Course. But you have other people. You have Ndume, who is very, very forceful. Popular, yeah. And you have um, um, Dangoji as well, mm -hmm. who is a very strong, for those who understand the dynamics of the National Assembly, he's the current um, Appropriation Committee chairperson. Sure. He's strong. He has his influence. He's not talking. Those are people should be careful about. So if if the if I want to advise the leadership of APC, they either re-strategize or forget about controlling the Ninth Assembly. You know, the interesting thing is that in the Eighth Assembly, that same wrangling came up. And because of that wrangling, there was a division, clear division between the senators on who they actually wanted to vote in. And then later on, they saw Bukala Saraki emerging president of the Senate and DSP, um, of course, outgoing uh, Ike Perimadu being the deputy, that, which was a shock for a lot of people that PDP actually was able to maintain a seat as deputy Senate president. And that was due to the split. So you're doing the math saying that split could actually work against no. them. And, no, and, it, and, it will work. You know what, like, the, look at an example I just told you now, all right? Let me tell you what is likely to happen. Oh. If the chairman of APC continues in the manner he's going, right? He's not acting like a Democrat. He's not, right? If Daniel <coughs> Goji, for example, who I predict will emerge as the Senate president. You predict? Yes, he will emerge. He's simple. I'm a strategist. Hmm. I've looked at his cell. He's going to emerge. And if he emerges, look at what's going to happen. Be a man as a Senate committee chairman of appropriation. He's very close to the outgoing Senate president, hmm. who is a member of PDP. So they are not talking. This game is done the night before the election. The elections. People meet, and it's going to be a secret ballot. Yes. Hmm. If, for example, I suspect APC will zone it to, to Northeast. That's where Dan Goji is from anyway. Mm -hmm. All he needs to do is just to just have an understanding. He is a party man, APC, but he's going to have an understanding with PDP. And what would they say? Okay, just give me the slot. Already they have a block of about 44 PDP people. And he has his loyalist. Interesting. All he needs is just about 20. He's done. Home oh. and dry from APC. Home and dry. And you just, okay, PDP senator becomes a deputy, just like a grandmother. Exactly like a deputy. what happened in the 8th Assembly. Let's talk, yeah, about, I, let's talk about Adams Oshomale, because a lot of people have continued to say, you are not a senator. Why do you keep, I'm sorry, we're going to use the word meddling into this particular affairs. The elections are over. Let the senators, at least the APC senators, decide among themselves what they want to do. Why does the party, through him, continue to try to impose? What does he stand to gain in this matter? I know you've touched it a bit, but coming back to you, Idoko, what, how dangerous is this, if I should use the word dangerous, that 
Adam Toshomele is involved in this matter? You see, I, I, uh, like you said, he's, he's actually meddling because, as, like, like, like I also said earlier, he can, you know, advocate for whoever he wants, uh, the, his party wants to be president, you know, but you've, you've got to, to, to deal with people, you've got to talk to them, you know, but like he said, I agree with him. In fact, there's something he said, he just took it from the tip of my tongue when he mentioned Goji. I see Goje imagine also as the same. He's the underdog. A lot of people aren't really looking at. At least he's not talking that much. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you, and you see, the, the, the truth is, Goje is the most. If you if you ask me, is the most matured. Oh. Of the other two. Yes, he's the one. He's, he's less controversial. Hmm. He has more experience. Yes, as a as a former governor, as a former governor, he understands how to deal with the executive more. Okay, and if you if I think he he, he has no controversy. If you look at these other two, they are controversial to me. Interesting. Yes, they, they appear to me like lackeys. I, I, and, I and, and there was something that Indume said recently that I don't know if it's lost on other people, but it wasn't on me. Okay? He showed clearly that he's not going to be a Senate president for Nigeria. What did he say? He said when he was trying to give his reasons as per how, uh, uh, how he has been a loyal party man. You know, because people are saying they don't want someone who will be confrontational. Mm. And he's trying, he was trying to say, look, I'm not confrontational. And he said, look, recall for the uh, amendment of the Electoral Act came that he, when he, he knew that it wasn't going to be in the interest of his party, he stood against it. So when he said that, you know, that, that's so famous interview. That, it, 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 yes, for saying, for saying that, for saying that, that for, for saying that, that because it's not in the interest of your party, how do you say that? And you want to be a national, uh, uh, um, I mean, the president of the Senate? Of the Senate. No, I no, mean, no, no. That, I, I, I need you to jump in on this because president for obviously you are disagreeing that Goje is going to make it. And you shook your head immediately, said Njume is not very good in <laughs> no, this. Yeah, no, you see, I actually shook my head when he said that uh, Goje will have, uh, is the most experienced, experienced yes. uh, or, and he will make this thing. See, uh, I'm from the state where Goje came from, I'm from Gombe State. I see. Yes. Um, ideally, I should, have, I, I should be rooting for him. Okay, why are you not? Yeah, but I don't. Because I don't think he's the most experienced, that's one. He definitely is not. Uh, for example, Ahmed Lawan is the most experienced of them. He has been in the two houses from 1999 uh, to date. He has put in 20 years in the parliamentary business. And when you say it also, you say he is less controversial. That Donjuma Goje is less controversial. Come on, really? That's not true. This is someone that has corruption case right now, even at the EFCC. How controversial can one be when you already have a running corruption case against you? So many charges and so on, you know. So uh, Indume himself had have similar, and also have even gone to uh, 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 was some time in jail because of some uh, 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 alleged involvement with the issue of the Boko Haram insurgency. Mm -hmm. The only person out of the three running. For the Senate that doesn't have controversy, if you want according to, to what's Ahmed Lawan, he doesn't have any uh, criminal case going on on him. Number two, he has never served on the executive. Do you understand me? Mm -hmm. He came from school directly from as an academic, uh, as, as, as a lecturer to the parliamentary Some people business. Some people will count that against him. In no, 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 the, the Being a Senate president is a parliamentary issue. Mm. It's, it's, it's a legislative business. And I, I have. I knew the three of them one on one. I see. And I have sat with them, you know, on this same issue from, uh, I mean, in different groups and forums. Mm. And I've listened to what each of them can say. And I can tell you authoritatively, before that meeting I had with the three of them mm -hmm. at different uh, separate times, I never also consider Ahmed Lawan to fit the bill. But after hearing him, I had a different opinion on him. So, but in any case, let's talk about uh, the issue of the party, whether something that happened in 2015 can repeat itself yes. because of how Yes, because of the wrangling we're seeing. I don't think so. I disagree with my friend. Uh, uh, he says he's a strategist yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that I, ABC I, I, are yes, very good I strategists. I disagree with him. Let me tell you why. Do you know why, he said, why are they making noise now? See, do you know why APC started taking control of this issue now? It is for this same reason. And I think it's smart. Yes, maybe the utterances of the chairman, not so good, not mm -hmm. so strategic, but it's good that they start talking about it now. So that people so can that understand all the people with their grievances, mm -hmm. with their strategies. You see, the two of them now are pretty convinced that Goje can actually do 
you know, what Saraki did in 2015. You think also the APC don't know that? They, of course, know that. that. But I know, no, no, he I said that, and you agree no, with no, him. No, 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 I agree I'm with him. Yeah, something yeah. he said. Oh, okay. I didn't so, say that Goje so, is going to do So, uh, you understand me, but they are also, the APC is watching. Goje is not talking. Saraki is backing him somehow. He was his chairman of operation during the head of assembly. All these things that are playing out, the party is watching. Just as the candidates and the opposition PDP mm -hmm. are strategizing, mm -hmm. so is the APC. All right. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. It's to avoid the occurrence of 2015. That is why the APC is actually having the discussion all right, now. So, all right, so you believe... Well, Go let me quickly correct okay, the impression. Okay, okay. When I meant that he was, yeah, he's the most experienced, mm -hmm. I didn't mean as a, as a legislator. I meant as a minister. He had been a minister, mm -hmm. he was a governor, mm -hmm. and now he's a legislator. So, so and, and, he embodies and almost the, the, all the, the, the Basically, part of the work of, this, of the Senate is to interface with ministries, mm -hmm. the executive. Mm -hmm. Basically, that's what they do. No, and so, and I, and I, no, I, I, I said part, I said part of their job. Mm -hmm. Of course, they do oversight functions, and they, they relate with ministers. Sometimes they invite ministers to come, to come there and talk with them. So I think there's a, mature, there's a level of maturity and experience that he has that someone so, who okay. has just so stayed only... Only in, the, only in the National Assembly. I the other two, they've just worked only in the National only Assembly. The National so Assembly. I think that being that, being confrontational, he'll be less confrontational because as a former governor, <laughs> Also, okay. well, uh, that's 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 I'm my. I'm the one who will be less opinion. confrontational. Actually, if that's my, that's my, that's my. I think my, my friend here will agree with let, me. Let, let's 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 let, let's take it from this angle. The reason yes. why, let's not forget that we are talking about one arm of government. Yes. Yes. Exactly. And, um, I talked about that. You're not students of history. You recall the banana peel issue. You know, um, if you between the fourth and the fifth assembly, mm. all right. If you recall, there were five Senate presidents, and why? Because the executive meddled in and imposed. The Senate leadership. And, it, and, was they able, and they kept going back and work. forth. Yes. If only what is about Senate leadership, people must look at you as a leader. How would you explain somebody like Ahmed Bolat, who is a private citizen, what role is he playing, trying to determine who is the Senate leader in a democracy? We are, we are Democrats, for goodness sake. Mm. We would like to get your comments on the comment section of this video. We've had, a, wow, a feisty conversation. But really, the question is, do you think we can have a leader in the Senate, in the House of Representatives, who's good, who has a great relationship with the other members of the House, who has backing of powerful people, and who's independent enough to say, I'll do this, I'll do that? Is that even remotely possible? Give us your comments on the comment section of this video. A big thank you to you, Ali Abdullahi, for taking our time to talk to us. Anthony Doko, thank you so much. Thank you Tony much. Akabono, thank you so much. You have given us a lot to chew on. My name is Gloria Oje, M. Oje, and you've been watching Roots TV Nigeria.